Finishers in the women's open division. In the middle, we have Helen O'Beary. Second place, Amani Veriso. And third place, Mona Southender. So we'll begin with a opening remarks from each of you, starting with, with Helen. This was only your second marathon. You won it, you just moved to the US. What's going through your mind out there at the finish line when you were hugging your daughter? First of all, I'm so happy to be here. I go to bed like uh, two weeks to be friends. And I say, let me go and do my best because like there were so strong ladies. So in the middle of the race, I try to be patient and wait for the right time to happen. And I knew I've trained well. Of course, I can say today it was my time. I'm so happy about it. And Amane, we have a translator up here for you. We're here in 2016 and was 12th. How did today's rate compare with 2016 for you? Recently, you have recently joined the OAC group in Boulder. 
and you started training with a lot of the teammates there, including Joe Klecker for long runs, you know, Dayton obviously has been coaching that group. How has that transition sort of been, you know, training uh, back home as opposed to here in the U.S. with such a new but very talented group? It was good moving to Bonda because in Kenya I never used to have coaching ground to see what I'm doing. But for Bonda I have a really enough coach, they are training mates and I have so many ladies there trying to help me. I have some boys in there trying to help me, coach is there seeing what I'm doing. And for everything I know they are have it. So it was a great opportunity for me to join OIC team there. This is a question for Armani. You ran 2.14 in Valencia at such a fast time on a flat course. I'm wondering what made you choose to come to Boston, which is a hilly course, versus maybe going to London, which would have been very flat, like, like you did in Valencia. I was <laughs> able to get to the start of 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 the There's no pacemaker in Boston, but I, I, I ran very good the race. I prepared very well also. If there's no rain, I could do more faster than what I expect. about being patient in your first marathon. I assume by now you've heard that in the men's race, Elliot Kipchoge, the, the greatest marathoner ever, was not patient. He was leading the race from the beginning and, and then finished, I think, uh, sixth place. Uh, how surprised are you that he lost and that he was pushing the pace the whole time? Okay, what I've come to run in a marathon, it's like, where well, there's no place makers, anything can happen, and it's a, it's a long, long journey, you can't predict on the way. 
you can tap it like for 2k and your bone cannot even move. So in Amazons, anything can happen and it was like a strong field and anybody was there to win the race. You know when you come to race, you are prepared to win. You are not coming to the race to lose the race. So everybody was well prepared for this race. I think we have time for one final question, if there is one. Otherwise, we will go ahead and wrap up. Congrats.